Please don't fall. Please. I genuinely regretted going to college. Two, three, I'm gonna four. Hey guys, it's Simi and welcome back to my channel. In a true coffee talk with Simi fashion, I've got me a coffee. I'm not gonna lie, it's already mostly drinking and definitely a little bit cold. I think there's just generally like a huge stigma about like what you're supposed to be doing right after high school and whatnot. And honestly, I just think it's a little bit misleading. I was one of those poor unfortunate souls that literally thought to myself, oh my gosh, college is gonna be it for me. Like college will be my thing. I'm meant for college. I will make myself meant for college. In college, I'll be able to move out and go to parties and do new things and meet new people and all these things. And realistically, I wasn't describing college. I was describing a lifestyle that I wanna live. Now people are finally starting to understand that you don't need college one of the first things i want to talk about is the fact that college isn't for everybody why else would you waste the money like why else would you go so far in debt i think a part of me felt like i would be missing out on something if i didn't go to college um especially because i am first gen dang like i kind of have to do this for the fam like i gotta see what life is like it's just really not nothing like it's a whole lot of nothing the things that i like about college actually are things that I don't even need college to do. I like going to the library and doing my little worky work in a little cubicle. Do I need to go to college to do that? No, I can go to my freaking local library. Let's say um, I still live in the Miami area. I could walk FIU's campus if I wanted to. I could sit on campus if I wanted to. Oh my God, there's so dozens of coffee shops around here. Dozens of places where people my age hang out and I can go and I'm starting to learn that more and more. You don't need to be in class to make friends. Honestly, I don't think I've made one friend in class. All of the friends that I've made are people I've lived with. So if that is something you're saying, like I wanna get out of my comfort zone, I just wanna get out of my house, get out of my town, do that. Move to where you know young people are gonna be and get roommates. Definitely recommend random when you know somebody and you go to live with them. You just never really know what someone's like until you do live with them. Whereas if you're meeting someone brand new for the first time, like you're more inclined to have like a first impression, you're more inclined to like keep things clean, you're more inclined to just be a better person overall, and you make a new friend rather than just keeping the friends, the same amount of friends that you had before you moved. You just save so much more money in the long run if you just do a roommate situation and just move out of your parents' house, you know? I would also like to point out, feel like there's just so many other routes to take. You can go to a technical college. You can attend a community college. You can take Skillshare classes. Skillshare, sponsor me. Honestly, it really just goes back to what you really wanna do. I think we are moving out of the age where people are finally starting to follow their dreams. Do the things they really wanna do because we have just accepted the fact that if we're gonna end up settling for a nine to five and just become depressed, like what's the point? I remember I wanted to be a cosmetologist. Like that was my dream. And everyone told me like, you're not gonna make any money. You should have a business degree to go on side of it. And honestly, I'm not even business major anymore. It's not what I wanted to do. I hate accounting. I will forever be doing TurboTax for the rest of my life. I would much rather learn about being a more people person Person, a more cultured person that's what I care about recently I just became a humanities major it's basically all like cultural studies which is what I love honestly and it gives me more perspective on social media I have taken plenty of marketing classes I have taken plenty of communications classes so at the end of the day I do find myself to be qualified and I don't want to limit myself down to one thing and I don't think anybody should my version of being successful definitely includes having a stable income being able to exponentially grow that income over time let's be real with each other okay me and you come on let's let's be real let me tell you a secret you will never get rich from working a nine to five i said it which is why i'm trying to grow my social medias follow me on pinterest follow me on tiktok follow me on instagram everything is at simicreen underscore 
But that's why I am venturing out on these adventures, okay? Everything, like the world is literally your oyster. After spending all of my life wishing to go to college, within the first six months of attending college, the novelty wore off and I genuinely regretted going to college. If I could just have gone back and done things a little bit differently to save myself a little bit more money and just like hassle in the long term, I would have done it. I know I've been talking a lot, I know, but I this is something I'm really, really passionate about and I just don't want you guys to make the same mistakes that I did. That's literally the whole point of this channel. Like I want you to actually think about why you're going to college. Don't go to college just because you wanna join a sorority. Just because you're part of the same sorority doesn't mean you're gonna make friends. The best way to make friends is just to get out of your goddamn room. Go to where people your age are. Recently, I found out about this restaurant called The Bark here in Tallahassee. Let me know if you guys wanna go with me sometime. Um, DM me on Instagram, we can be besties. Most of the time, we make friends over here by going out, exchanging Instagrams or Snapchats and just hitting each other up, like actually making plans and fulfilling them. I also love the movies and I ended up meeting a great soul there. That is until creepy people start to follow me home. That's beside the point. You know, there's consequences to everything. There's negatives, there's a double side to everything. Recently have taken up reading. Do you wanna find like a smaller bookstore around here and check that out? I bet you that there's gonna be people there that are part of my vibe. Thrift stores, are you kidding me? This is my vibe. These are the people I wanna be around. Basically, all I'm saying is, you don't need to go to college to make friends. So if that's up, like literally up on your list or something, or if that's a big reason, you know, why you wanna go, just please don't. You just also wanna spend your time very wisely. I think that with the way, I just feel like now more than ever, we need to start actually living not surviving, not barely getting by. We need to start living. One of my biggest fears is wasting my time. If there are things that I really wanna get done, I'm sorry, but I'm, that's what I'm gonna do first. You know what I'm saying? And I'm tired of making the excuse of being like, oh, sorry, I can't go out with you guys tonight because I'm doing homework. I hate always telling myself, oh, in summer, in summer, in summer, but I don't take break. I'm graduating a year early because I wanna get it over with. I'm, I don't wanna spend another 20 grand next year. A 20 grand that I don't have. I do have a roof over my head at the end of the day. I have food on my table and that's all I can ask for. And honestly, I just wanna start taking life slower. I wanna start waking up earlier, getting a good amount of sleep. I wanna talk about what college specifically does to your mental health. Um, I have touched on this before in the past, link in the eye of when I talked about my freshman year experience at FSU. I came into college already with a diagnosis. I will say that college made it my conditions worse because I also needed to support myself. So not only did I move out of my household, move very, very far away, I moved to a PWI where there were not many people that looked like me. There were not many avenues for me to see help. And I was taking 15 credit hours, so five classes, and um, working full time. And it was absolutely horrible. I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. Moment of silence for freshman year Simi. She will be missed. Carrying on. I just felt like my life was like this nonstop hamster wheel and if I could just have a second to breathe, then maybe, just maybe I would be okay, but I never really caught that break. But I did feel like I was wasting my time waking up at nine to go to class that I sleep through, 40 hours a week working at a job where I was barely getting paid anything. It was dehumanizing. Let's not even talk about like the sexual harassment that occurs specifically in college towns. Not let's not talk about it, let's definitely talk about it. It's not good for your mental health. I don't really admire creepy guys coming up to me and just like overtly throwing themselves at me. It's not very fun. I would rather just look from afar and appreciate the fact that I'm surrounded by people rather than actually talk to anyone. It's uh, at this point, I'm scared. Like I'm scared to talk to people. I feel like they very often cross that line between 
trying to become friends with you and trying to like flirt with you and so generally like you find yourself in very uncomfortable situations and if you are also in college just just let me know if you agree because I feel like especially because I am moved out and it's not like I'm going home to my parents like I spend most of my time around people my age like I don't really like it <laughs> a lot of people in college funnily enough are very close-minded and racist and misogynist and all of the isms and all of the bigotry I notice like when I actually do meet someone respectful on campus I'm like they were nice like I'm like surprised <laughs> I don't want to make it seem like college is this big bad place, but it's not legally blonde fantasy that you thought it was, okay? It's not Harry Potter either. No matter how much it looks like Harry Potter, it's the Hogwarts. I would rather just astral project myself into Harry Potter rather than actually go to this school. I'm just saying. I think it's a massive waste of time. If you're someone like me, at all. A, don't go to a PWI. I think I would like college a lot more if I did go to like an HBCU or just somewhere where the population was a little bit more diverse. That being said, I'm still very grateful for the experience. I'm grateful that I am here to tell you uh, my personal experience, just to give you some more perspective. Maybe a perspective you don't really hear that often. I feel like a lot of people are always hyping up specifically FSU and not really getting into the nitty gritty, getting into the actual issues, you know? The way that you have to pay for absolutely, literally everything. It's not very fun. But going to school events are, is fun. Our, our girls soccer team is actually really good. They like win championships like every year. Super cool. Again, I do like going to the library. I do like getting my little Starbucks coffee. I do love like being able to walk the campus. Campus is really beautiful. I will say that. I feel like at the end of the day, people can tell you the pros and cons, but if your heart is really set on doing something, you're gonna end up doing it anyways. I just hope that you don't expect it to be something that it isn't and you're not like disappointed when you actually get here. But yeah, at the end of the day, like I would have never met these people who are, I, I'm pretty sure will be in my life for a very long time. Like, I know I ramble a lot, but that's what these coffee talks are for. It's supposed to be like a little podcasty moment. I guess I really don't have much more to say. If you like sit down videos, if you like college content, definitely hit the like button because a lot more college content, ironically, is gonna be coming your way. I will be doing, I'll be forcing myself to do every goddamn college thing I can possibly do in the next nine months so if that sounds like fun to you definitely hit that subscribe button down below because we are on the road to 300 subscribers 90 percent of you guys aren't subscribed can we talk about that like you sat through this whole video and you were like yeah she's cool and then you were like i'm just not gonna subscribe like i'll just wait till she comes back up on my thing now i'm a small youtuber guys you have to subscribe it literally doesn't hurt you and it's literally free and i am generally speaking i'm very consistent on this platform at least think about it marinate on it and get back to me and comment down below what are you thinking about college plans whether or not you're in college whether you're thinking about college and it always like brightens up my day a little bit so if you want it to be a little bit nice to me today comment <laughs> and i'll be getting back to you guys in the next video love ya bye <laughs> let me know if you get that reference i just think that's so funny girl i thought i saw a bug but it was my eyelash <laughs> side note if you're here this long I've been playing Minecraft a lot. How funny would it be if I like beat the game with you guys? I've never beaten the game, actually. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> it makes me a little scared. Also, hair is brought to you by Diavion. This was her prom wig. I love touching my hair. <laughs> I love having long hair. I think my next color is really calling to me and I think it's ginger. Either ginger or blonde. But when I'm in my blonde era, y'all will not be able to stop me. Yeah. Thank you for watching this long. I'm gonna give you a kiss. Bye. <laughs>